So, uh, if you understand this program, so does everyone understand this program? Yeah? So what we're going to try to do in the lab is to make a tree. Okay? And the way we will do that is, uh, is that I'm going to write a skeleton of a little program and you'll flesh that skeleton out in the, in the lab. Okay? So we're going to define a command called tree. Okay? And it's going to have a size. And uh, we're going to say that a tree has a stem. And then it's got a tree on the right. And a tree on the left. Okay? So we say that by, by definition, a tree is a stem. And then there's a tree on the right and a tree on the left. And the tree on the right is another tree. So it's got a stem and a tree on the right and a tree on the left. That tree on the right is another tree. It's got a tree on the right, it's got a stem, a tree on the right, and a tree on the left, and so on. Okay? And uh, hopefully that'll allow us to create very nice and uh, realistic looking trees. Uh, at least we'll see how that goes. So you have to create this command. And then you have to use it. You gotta say clear, and then tree. Let's say we'll start with 60, and then we'll try tree 90, and so on. Okay. So, uh, does everyone understand this idea that a tree is a stem, and a tree on the right, and a tree on the left? Right. So, uh, to make the stem. What command do you think you'll use to make the stem? You, you just say forward, right? So the stem would be just a forward command. Okay? That's going to make the stem. Uh, and then, how do you think you're going to make the right tree? Yes, turn right. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write these notes here, okay? So use forward. Then turn right okay and then call the tree command again okay so from inside the tree command you call the tree command again so uh, this idea is called recursion when a command or a function calls itself so that's how you're going to make the right tree and then for the left tree same thing turn left and then call the tree command. OK? So does that make things any clearer or uh, or not? Uh, OK, so that's a good, good point. How do you get the turtle back? So you got to make sure that at the end of the tree command, the turtle is back where it started from. After making whatever, it comes back to where it started from. Oh, you, was that? Uh, yeah, right. But you know, when you're making this tree up here, you need to get back here, not home. Uh, and the way you do that is just using a back command, which is very similar to the forward command. So instead of saying forward, you just come back. Okay. So, so there's this one new command that's now been introduced. Yes. Yes. Uh, use back. Uh, let's do this. Uh, let's just think through what's going to happen, okay? So we start out and we ma make a stem, right? Then we make a tree to the right, okay? Do you think this tree should be the same size as this tree or should it be smaller? Should be smaller, right? And how do we control the size of the tree? We have a input parameter right here, right? So we, when we call the tree command from inside the tree command, we need to call it with an input that is bigger than size or smaller than size? Smaller, right? OK, so we have a stem. Then we have a tree to the right, which is smaller. Now this tree is going to make a stem. It's going to make another tree to the right, which is smaller. And that's going to make another tree to the right. And that's going to make another tree to the right. And where is it going to stop? Can somebody tell me? And have we told it where to stop? 
So that's the problem, right? We haven't figured that out yet. So how do you think we can tell it where to stop? Okay, after a certain amount of trees or below a certain size, which is the same thing, right? So you could, and this is probably another new command for, for you guys. You could say, uh, if, and you could say size is less than, you know, let's say five. Then, don't do anything and get out of there. Stop. Okay? So that's how you tell uh, tell your command that, you know, hey, as you keep doing this, you keep calling yourself. At a certain point, you got to stop. And that's how you tell it where to stop. I think our Python skills will help us a little bit here with the if statement. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so uh, do you think that now we have everything nailed down or is there still something missing? Uh, right, but the idea for the left tree is right here, right? right. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, we've kind of discussed that idea, and hopefully we'll be able to put it into practice. Uh, any questions? On Let me go ahead. Uh, we can see what a more complicated version of the tree looks like, okay? Or you can draw on the board if you like. Uh, it depends on what this parameter is. Uh, if it's 60, it looks different. If it's 90, it looks totally different. Uh, l let me show you an example. Let me show you an example. Okay? And don't cheat and try to look at this when you're doing your assignment. Uh, but a tree would look like what I showed you earlier, right? Okay, so there's a... So if I get rid of this... So this tree has a stem. It's got a right tree and a left tree, which is smaller. This tree has a stem and a right tree and a left tree. Stem right tree, left tree, and so on, till you get to a certain size. Okay? It's okay if it's all the same color. Right. I in our case, it's okay if it's all the same color. I'd like to propose something. I want everybody to be successful at doing something today. Uh -huh. I think that this is, a, if this is an excellent problem. It's also a challenging problem. Yes, true. So uh -huh. I would like to offer the students an optional, simpler <laughs> problem. Okay. So that uh -huh. everyone can choose one of the two problems to do uh -huh. and be successful with the problem today. Sure. And as far as what the simpler one should be, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm open to your Okay. Uh, does everyone know what a polygon is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like a square or an equilateral triangle or a you know regular pentagon. <coughs> okay. So we want to create a command called rpoly for regular polygon. And it's going to take, or let's say sides. Okay, and then we want to be able to call it with values of three, let's say three, uh, six, and twenty. Okay, uh, and as we get to twenty. I think it'll be interesting to observe what the polygon starts to look like. Okay, so once you make a polygon with 20 sides, try to see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what we want to do in the assignment. Uh, any questions on how we might go about doing this? Or is that pretty clear? Uh, we're ready to go to last? Yeah, yep. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you.